So are you doing yours CT or ultrasound guided or both depending on the situation? Almost always CT guided. Um, yeah. When I first got to the practice, like CT was kind of the decided upon workflow. We used to do them both ways in fellowship. And I, I like doing, so my overall preference as, as an operator, just in general, if I can see it with ultrasound, I want to stick it with ultrasound. With this, it just is a little bit easier because all the providers are comfortable with CT. And we have a couple IR docs that they can definitely do it under ultrasound, but their their skill set is more within CT. And so I just kind of stick with the party line and stay in CT. And there's plenty of renal biopsies that I'm glad were booked with CT. I mean, for me, CT, like whether you got a 15 centimeter throw or a five centimeter throw, it's kind of all the same. Like yeah. it's just it's just easy. With ultrasound, you know, if you have a thin to moderately sized patient, I think that ultrasound totally is workable. It can be helpful, like if you don't want to lay your patient down, like there's some people who do these with the patient sitting up. And, but if you have that patient who's like got some small, like kind of echogenic kidneys and you got a long throw to boot, that can be a tough, that can turn it into a tough procedure, at least for me. Yeah, I, I, I would say I'm probably 80, 90% CT. And a lot of that is just the practice pattern of, the the group of the group that being said there's some you know in pretty much every ct department that i've worked at is comfortable with doing a renal biopsy sometimes i'm in an ir department where you know a renal biopsy comes across and they're like what what are you talking about ct no we do these here with ultrasound and it's it's more of a, a sedation thing like the the ir nurses that are coming sedation want to do it in the ir department because that's where they it's not like you're going to the ultrasound department you can actually do it in the ir department and as long as they're thin and you can see the kidneys pretty well, and of course, I'll look up any imaging they've had. Usually, they've had a CT. And it, as long as this, the body size is amenable to ultrasound, then I'll go ahead and book an ultrasound. But I'll fight. If they're big and, I, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm doing this in CT, it's just going to be a bit easier for everybody. You know, I'll be able to see the kidney. I'm totally with you on that. I mean, you got to find the, the area that you're comfortable in. We actually have a nephrologist who pushes back on us a lot. He is, he's not like extremely happy that we do them in CT. I think he had trained at a place where like he did renal biopsies and they did everything under ultrasound. Yeah. And so he's, he's, um, oftentimes like, he's like, oh, you should got these, these would be safer. You did them in an ultrasound. And maybe from him, his, his perspective, that would be true. But from our perspective, frankly, I don't, I don't give a shit what he thinks, like in terms of like picking <laughs> my modality. So we do, we are, do ours in CT and I know that we could definitely like actually have, like, I know, I, I would know ahead of time the BMI of all my patients and like whether they were a good body habitus to have over in ultrasound. But, you know, I, I don't care. I mean, it's, it's not that hard in either location. And so, you know, for a 50, 50 jump ball that I can do an easy case in CT or an easy case in ultrasound, like it doesn't really matter to me. Well, Safer is all in the hands of the proceduralists. Yes, you know, if of they're course. whatever they're comfortable with. So you know, yes, in the literature or theoretically, safer might be you know, or that at that institution, safer was in ultrasound because that's where they did most of their cases. But the, you know, wherever the higher volume is, that tends to be safer because that's where the comfort zone is. And real quick before we move on, I do want to talk about the advantages of. So we talked about the advantages of CT is basically size, body size, sure. and yep. being able to lay prone, uh, you know, well, if they can lay prone, but, you know, and visibility, right? When mm -hmm. there's a larger size. The the advantage of ultrasound is that real time guidance, right? You can watch your needle go right into the renal cortex, make sure your tip is not like, you know, sticking into the, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, into the renal pelvis and staying away from the vasculature. And also, after you take your sample, you can watch and real. What oftentimes I'll do is under ultrasound is once I take my sample, I take that needle out and this, you know, the stylet stays in. And then I keep my probe there watching that kidney and also holding some pressure while I hand over the needle to my tech who gets the sample out and then gives me the needle back. Because A, I want to watch for bleeding and B, I want to hold pressure on the kidney to help, you know, kind of try and prevent bleeding. So that to me is the advantage of ultrasound. Uh, in a skinny patient. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think all those things are are true. I'll add with CT, um, not that I think it tends to be a problem with these, but you can kind of know about the structures that are around you. Like one yeah. of the things I, I feel like on skinny patients, like where there's just, there's no intermesenteric fat is like one of the biggest things that I worry about is like a through and through puncture where like, it's just like 
intestines or colon is just hugging the anterior right. part of that kidney. And I feel like I have a nice visualization under CT, but yes, I, I think both both get you there. And, and, you know, the live guidance of ultrasound is fantastic. I mean, kidneys are certainly a dynamic organ that's going to move with respiration. So yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. And ultrasound machines are getting better and better. Resolution's mm-hmm. getting better. You know, you're able to see deeper structures better. So hopefully, you know, hey, maybe someday we won't have to do it under CT at all. It'll be all ultrasound get it. They are. Um, you're totally right. Newer machines are just getting so good. Yeah. 